Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired, strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Starrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly. London's so-called Bloody Nora has challenged you to a gang war. All weapons permitted. Good luck to both sides. done this time. <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder, and if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labour. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, it'd certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to help. No more exploitation! No more slavery! Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit, with those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Abelon. If this gets out... Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots... Mr. Aberline. <coughs> I have the utmost faith in you, Miss Fry. Thank you. 
their beds in anywhere in London. Just waiting for their lives to be utterly Look here. You, you two, die. follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the car. The, the counterfeiters. This is hardly appropriate. Heard about the rioting at the bank. They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste. And repents not at all. Now to sneak these back into the bank. Huh! <laughs> 
Be rather useful. I want you to tell me if this money's real or not. Come on, then. Oh. Something must be done. Keep it on. You should one. be ashamed. If I come over there, <laughs> I'll introduce you to my fatter. <gasps> Girl like you shouldn't be getting into trouble. Go do something productive. <laughs> Who's she? Looks familiar. I always give the. <laughs> Never taken. London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Face in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. Again, where we are going. I found a letter from the Prince Consort among Lusiton's research, marked with the same insignia as your key, dated 1847. 1847? The same year the Prince began renovations to Buckingham Palace. You think he added a vault for the Shroud? And since there is no map, 
of the palace with a room marked Secret Vault. Your Highness, may I present Miss Evie Fry. Miss Fry, Maharaja Dulip Singh. A pleasure, Your Highness. My friend, the plans you asked for have been removed. Removed? By whom? Crawford Starrick, or someone employed by him. Yes, I thought you might recognize the name. I know where they are, but it is heavily guarded. That part will not be a problem. I thought not. We're going to need a plan. I can provide a distraction for the guards while you find a safe way inside. Oh, really? <laughs> for you, Evie? Certainly. Well, once I'm inside, I'll find someone who knows where the papers are stored. And we will be back on the train. Be careful. the plan when you give the signal I'll draw the guards into a fight and then use a smoke bomb to get away and I'll take advantage of the confusion ready absolutely Ah! <laughs> 
Now we have... Show me! This is a true master! I'll shut it for you! I'll have you attacked! Nothing here. Looks like I have to ask someone where the plans are. Miss. Oh, I don't know where they've taken him. Taken who? The man. Dressed like you. The guards dragged him off. Henry, the plans you stole, where are they? I don't know anything about that. The plans. The mission. some of Clara's children. They took Mr. Henry. We couldn't stop them. I bit one of them good, though. They dragged him off in a red carriage. They won't get far, though. 
One wheel looked like it was about ready to fall off. You can see the cart tracks. It looks so wobbly-like. of public property. I must be on the right track. Go on. That's it. That must be the carriage. Found you. Now to find Henry. Anything about the carriage, but there's been some strange happenings around here today. All kinds of unsavory types wandering around. Armed to the teeth. I don't like it. What? We're right behind you! Oh no! after the wheel fell off. They said he'd hit his head. Not sure why they needed his head into the church. Oh, yes, they pulled someone out of that carriage. Dead drunk he was. They carried him into the church. Maybe he wanted a quiet place to sleep it off. I could have sworn I'd locked this gate. This is supposed to be locked. Bloody urchins opened it again, no doubt.
Surprised if it took a while. Send someone to move the architectural plans. Do you have them? Do they hurt you? I'm fine. Let's go. What about the plans? The plans are lost. I'm sorry. Just concentrate on escaping, please. Get Miss Nightingale to look at them. I must find the vault before Starek secures the shroud. We'll talk to the Maharaja again. I will talk to the Maharaja. You will get your head looked at. I'm sorry my capture hasn't done your plans. You'd be safer on the train. Even if you find the vault, you can't just walk into Buckingham Palace alone. I won't be alone. I'll see you back at the train, Mr. Green. All right. 
B. Who are you and what's your game? So the Russians thought they had us cut off from our own lines. Now, a lesser commander could have thrown his hands up and surrendered. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The corrupt practices bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of Samus than surrender to one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. That I'll not stand. He must be up to something. Parliament would only see fit to recognize my achievement. Perhaps with Victoria Cross. It's got to be managed. It would provide a much needed boost to our soldiers' morale. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody Stuarts! How dare you, sir. Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these yes, slanderous sir. accusations? Bloody hell, what's that? Anybody know what's going on? What's going on? I'll not stand for it! Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Resume. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. Then why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me. Bye. 
Bloody hell! Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lights are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. <laughs> devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies, but we've learned of a threat on your life, and the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Come 
Gladstone. That bloody man! He will pay for this! Thank you. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. Madam? Mr. Fry. Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I am afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. Ha 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 I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Mr. Bancroft! Mr. Bancroft! What's coming up next for the Prince of Wales? Will you be performing <laughs> Mr. Robertson's new work? Who will you be playing? Any comment on the notices for the play? Steady on. young man. Dizzy ought to keep you on to deal with the Liberals. Now, a drive is in order, I think. I certainly... Let's go. There, in the cart, it's the Prime Minister's wife. I really must not be seen here, Mr. Brown. Yeah! Who's a good horse? Oh! 
Doing fine, girl. what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. No, this gentleman is a... Oh, what was it? Yes, a costermonger. <laughs> Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? That was the Eucharist. I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. Everything all right? Oh, yes. I've just learned to whistle. Right. <laughs> okay, right. Really fine, the way they are. Why, Mr. Fry? I do believe that man. I believe you're required. <laughs> Shall we see what awaits us deeper in the acre? is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one. Mm. So this is a pint, is it? <laughs> Remarkable. Nice doggy. Desmond, hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I have just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Mm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, 
well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. over the floor! Don't let him breathe! I'm gonna knock your teeth out! Just try to stop me! Gone, girl. Keep moving. Well, I must thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is Let's the gentleman go. you seek. Tires. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens, campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. The government could ill afford another scan. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. Slow down now! <laughs> Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax, I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, man. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. Me, gentlemen, Sergeant Freddie Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes, it's uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament's dirty linen. What? <laughs> I'll be very discreet. To you.
Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. Somewhere, boy. I beg your pardon. No password, no passage. Do you know who I am? I'm a member of Parliament, you critic. No password, no passage, sir. Blind against the law and shot. And deservedly so. My lord, it's time to meet his left hand. Nothing's gonna slip past me. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. What's that? Huh? Deserve to die. 
I'm a good man. I'm bloody swear. Let bloody Watch try, for the boys. Boy. <sighs> I'm looking for. He's going to get away! Back away! Something's lurking. Stay back if you know what's good for you. Oh, I'll check out where that noise was coming from. Two minutes. Oh! <laughs> Password! Um... Baby apple. Piss off. Balaclava should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So, I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions, and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otsoberg is here. I will kill him for you. 
Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud.